Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and today I'll be continuing our series on the 2022 external exams in Queensland, Australia with a couple of questions on distance on the earth. These are multiple choice and short answer questions from last year's exams. Now, if you are not in Queensland and you're not in Australia, do not panic. We're going to be looking at time zones, latitude and longitude. So no matter where you are in the world, these questions will help you out with your exams too. So firstly, let's get into question 14. It's a multiple choice question. A rugby fan in Perth, Australia plans to watch a live match played in New Zealand next winter. The time zone for Perth is UTC, which is Universal Coordinated Time, plus 8. And the time zone for New Zealand is UTC plus 13 in winter and UTC plus 12 in summer. If the match is played at 6.30pm New Zealand time, what time will the match be viewed in Perth? Now we've got a few options here that could be a little bit confusing. I always find it helpful to firstly look at the problem and highlight or underline the key information. So let's start with that. So we know that the match is in winter, which is going to mean that um, we are not interested in this time over here, the summertime. It's not relevant at all. Um, the reason they've put it in there is to indicate that there is daylight savings. However, you don't need to know about that for this question. I also find it helpful just to draw a little timeline as well. So here's my timeline here. I could extend that all the way back to zero if I wished. But when I put it on here, what I can see is, is that New Zealand is um, right at, um, at the end. Um, Perth is at the other end. And what that means is, is that New Zealand's time is ahead. So I'm going to calculate a time difference between the two by subtracting. So I'm going to do 13 take away 8. I'm going to get a 5 hour time difference. Now the question is, is what time is it in Perth when the match is being played? So in New Zealand time, that's 6.30 p.m. We know that New Zealand is on the far right hand side and what that means is that Perth is behind. So that means that the match must be played earlier in the day than 6.30 p.m. if you're watching it in Perth, which means we can already eliminate two of the options that are after 6.30 p.m. But we can do straight away is take those plus 13, take the five hours away, we're going to get 1.30 p.m. And that's our option A. So we've eliminated the other options straight away and we've gone straight to our answer. Question 15. The actual distance between two cities has been correctly calculated as 556 kilometres. The latitude and longitude respectively of these two cities could be, and we have four multiple choice options. Now, one way to go about this is to pull up your formula sheet. This is what it looks like in Queensland, Australia. Yours might be a little different. And you could simply take the two sets of um, coordinates for each of these places and plug them into the correct formula, work out the distance and one out of the four will give you 556 kilometres. Now that could take quite a while to go through all four of those and um, guess and check with that particular method. There is a better way and that's actually understanding what your formula is all about. Now the 111.2 inside the both of those formulas actually represents kilometres in terms of one degree of movement across the earth. So remember the earth is 360 degrees because it's a sphere and we can travel through 360 degrees but when we travel through one degree on a longitude line we're passing through 111.2 kilometers. You'll notice that's why the longitude formula here the first one that's on the formula sheet is simply 111.2 kilometers times by how many degrees you pass through. The latitude formula is a little bit different. It's got cosine theta in there, which means it's going to manipulate or change. It's a fractional element of that. So I'm not gonna to go too much into detail on that. We do have a previous video that covers where the cos theta comes from. But understanding what 111.2 means is really important. So firstly, we know that there's 556 kilometers traveled. So we can work out how many degrees were traveled by dividing that by 111.2. And that gives us five degrees of difference between our two cities. Now, now what we can do is go through A, B, C, D and anything that does not have a five degree difference in either latitude or longitude, we can rule out. So remembering here, the first is latitude, longitude comes second, um, and we can know that alphabetically LA comes before LO. That's how we can remember that with a set of coordinates. Now here, I've got two degrees north of the equator, three degrees south of the equator. That's five degrees difference, so A is a possibility. Then if I look at option B, I've got um, same um, longitude of 104 degrees. So let's focus on what's happening with the latitude. I've got equator here, two degrees north, and then a third degree above. That's actually only a one degree difference, so B is ruled out. If I have a look at option C, I've got 25 degrees north, 
30 degrees south that's actually a 55 degree difference so you've got to really be careful because it could trick some people with the fact that it's 25 and 30 but one is north one is south so c is eliminated let's look at option d now this one here has the same latitude of 25 degrees north but different longitudes and they're both east and the difference there between 145 and 150 is also five degrees so we know right away that we've got a and d as possibilities we can rule out b and c now the question is which one out of a and d is correct is it going to be the one with the same latitudes or the same longitudes so you'll notice up here i've got the same longitudes 104 degrees down here i've got same latitudes of 25 degrees now recognizing what we talked about before that straight up formula five degree difference is going to be our same longitude which means it's got to be option a they've got to be on the same longitude if it was same latitude which is option d then we'd have to use this formula over here and it would not be 556 it'd be 556 multiplied by cosine of 25 which is that latitude that's in common Okay, so that's our final answer for that one. Question 22. This is a short answer question and it's in two parts. Now, I know my pronunciation of these towns in Madagascar is going to be wrong. Um, so I do apologize that straight up front, but I'll do my best. Maravoy and Ikora are located on the same meridian. Remember, meridians are our longitude lines at 46.6 degrees east. So here we are here. It's passing through those two towns here. And we need to find the latitudes of both of these places. So this is where bringing a ruler into an exam is really important because you could actually measure those distances. This is a scale map. So you could actually measure the distance down here with your ruler and work it out fairly precisely if you are good at using a ruler and you've had some practice. So um, our latitude lines are what we remember are like a ladder. We climb up the ladder and they're these horizontal lines. So be very careful not to get those confused when you're asked to find the latitudes. So um, Maravoy, I've determined, was about 16 degrees using my ruler when I'd used that. The QCAA would have allowed you a difference of about 0.2 degrees in either direction. I also determined Ikora about 23 degrees. And once again, they would have allowed you 16.2 all the way down to 15.8 for Maravoy. And they would have allowed you 23.2 all the way down to 22.8. So you've got about a 0.4 degrees of getting it right. That's why precision is important. Use a ruler. Now getting those um, um, written down on your paper, you needed to make sure you use your degree symbol and also the fact that they're degrees south. So don't just write 16 and 23. You need to have it with the correct information there. Now, the next part is part B down the bottom. So you have a look down there, that's changed now. Use the result from question 22A to determine the shortest distance between Maravoy and Akora. And once again, I'm pulling up my formula sheet from the Queensland formula sheets. And I need to choose the correct formula here. Now we know they're on the same longitude line. Okay, so that means that I'm going to be using my first formula again. So we get to use this twice in the exam. So I'm simply going to work out the difference in the latitude it's a 25 degrees approximately um, you may have had a slightly different answer if you measure a little bit different within those point plus or minus two ranges okay so now I've worked out that there is a seven degree difference so now that I've selected the correct formula I'm going to substitute that into the formula seven degrees difference multiplied by 111.2 gives me a 778.4 kilometer difference. Now I would have earned my first mark here for choosing the correct formula and my next mark there would have been for including the units So make sure you write your answer with kilometers at the end. Well, that's all we have time for in this video and we've pretty much covered distance on the earth from paper one. I'm, I hope you found it really helpful. If you did, you could engage further with us here at the channel by liking and subscribing to our videos, share your video with a friend or a teacher or even a family member and follow us on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. If you've got any questions at all, you can contact me at mcclutchymaths at yahoo.com. That's the best place to ask more complicated questions. Or even if you'd like to request a video on a particular topic or make some suggestions about how we can improve the channel, always open to feedback. Thank you so much for your time today. I'm Natalie McClutchy. You've been watching McClutchy Maths. Have a wonderful day.